to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to be making a simple video on how to achieve your pencil skirt with two layers please okay pencil skirt with two layers please now one thing about this form of skirt is the fact that you can also convert it to a gown now i know you might want to ask me that oh how can we convert skirt to gown we want to slay with this style we want a style that can serve as skirt and also as a gown we want to go out on a skirt and come back as a gown so the difference basically is just adding your infinite wrap to the upper part of your skirt so once you add your infinite wrap to the upper part of your skirt you are going to have a gown that's a top secret okay that is a top secret i want you guys to keep <laughs> so i'm going to show you guys how to achieve your infinite to this skirt so that you can end up having a gown if you're interested in rocking it as a gown or you want it to serve as a skirt for you so once you convert it to a gown this simply means that you have your infinite wrap at the upper part and you can wrap it to different styles of your choice so the way you wrap it is going to add more beauty to it and it all depends on how you want to rock it but for today's tutorial I'm gonna be dealing with the skirt part and while I'm cutting and sewing I'm also going to explain to you guys how to convert it to a gown okay so what are the basic measurements required our waist measurements and our skirt length now we also need our hip measurements guys So we need our waist measurements, skirt length and our hip measurements. So these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this form of dress. Now let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements. So our waist measurement is 36. 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches. Our hip is 38. 38 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches now our skirt length is 44 inches 44 inches which basically means from your waist to your desired skirt length and of course because you are going to have two layers of pleats it simply means that this form of skirt is a long skirt okay so now what we are going to do now is to go ahead and deduct our pencil skirt from the skirt length now from my waist to my knee length is 17 inches i know you might want to ask me that what if i I forgot to mark like or to measure waist to knee when taking my client's measurements don't worry I have a detailed tutorial on size chart which I'm going to put the link here please go ahead and check out that video after watching this it enables you to know how to calculate other measurements okay especially if you are dealing with you know clients that basically just send their size to you now I've also gone ahead because I love you guys I've also gone ahead to also produce the printable size chart so this is what the printable size chart looks like it's a very large form of size chart i don't know if you guys can see it but this is what the printable form of size chart looks like and it starts from size 4 to size 24 it includes like your tie measurements your short length your trouser length your flap length your sleeve your top length waist to knee bust arm or shoulder to bust it is so detailed guys i recommend that you guys should have a copy of this size chart now how do you want to place the order please check out the description box for our email address and also our phone number and send us a message or place a call to order your printable size chart okay so that will enable you to know that looking at these measurements you can see that the person falls around size six so what is the shoulder to knee of what is the shoulder to knee of a size six person all you have to do is to so what is the measurement looking at this measurement you can discover that the person is somewhere around size six so what is the measurement for waist to knee length of a size six from your size chart you'll be able to get it that waist to knee is 16 inches so it is so easy as abc please go ahead and place your order click on the link in the description box below okay so now we have 16 inches our skirt length now we have showed waist 
waist to knee we have 16 inches so you are basically going to deduct your waist to knee from your skirt length so that you'll be able to know the amount of fabric required for the lower part which will serve as a double layer pleat so what you are going to do now is 44 minus 16 inches you are going to have 28 inches i hope i'm right but you are going to have 28 inches now from your waist to knee is 16 inches you go ahead and add one inch for your sewing allowance you have 17 inches you go ahead and add one inch for your sewing allowance you have 17 inches so from your knee now to your desired length we have 28 inches now because what you want to achieve at the end of the day is your double layer pleat it means that the first layer of your the first layer of your pleat is going to be the middle point of the total length so the first layer now we are going to have 14 inches for the length of the first layer of your pleats while the second layer of your pleats you are going to have 28 inches the first layer which is the upper layer you are going to have 14 so that's going to stop at the midpoint of your total length so don't forget to add your sewing allowance to it so you have one inch for your sewing allowance you have 15 why for the second layer because that is where you're going to have like your hemming allowance to it you can go ahead and add two inches you have 30 inches so the first layer now we have 30 15 inches the second layer we have 30 inches now from the waist to our knee length we have 17 inches if you want your skirt to have a band if you want your skirt to have a band it simply means that you are going to deduct your band from this 17 inches that is if you want your skirt to have a band note that it is optional it depends on how best you want to rock your skirt so for the sake of this tutorial let me just explain you know for those of you that would love to add band to your skirt so if your waist to knee is 17 inches you deduct two inches for your band that is if you want your band to be two inches you deduct two inches that is if you want your band to be two inches you deduct two inches from your waist to your knee so your waist to knee now deduct two inches you are going to have 15 inches why for your band of two inches band plus one for your sewing allowance you have three inches so your band now will be three inches your waist to knee will be 15 inches because you deducted your band but if you want it to be together you go ahead and use your 17 inches now you also have the lower part which is 28 inches we divided it into two one layer of the pleats is 15 inches and the second layer of the pleats is 30 inches now this 15 inches and the 30 inches is basically for the length of the fabric now for the width of the fabric how will you know the amount of fabric to pleat on this pencil skirt now there are times whereby if you don't use the exact measurement to get your pleats you might be pleating on your pencil skirt and you will get to a point whereby you still have enough fabric to pleat but you've exhausted the pencil skirt you want to pleat on let me know if this has happened to you before don't lie it has happened to everybody we'll never we'll never fuck up hands in the hair no hands hey god i can't believe Hey, <laughs> you guys don't let us deceive ourselves it has happened to everybody okay now there are times whereby you want to pleat and then the fabric you have to pleat on you've exhausted it there are also times whereby you still have enough fabric to pleat but the pencil skirt you want to pleat on you've exhausted it there are also times whereby you know you still have you've pleated all the fabrics you have you've pleated all the fabrics you have but your pencil skirt you still have something left you i don't know like it has happened to everybody don't even don't even form okay now how will you overcome that stage of your life or that stage of your sewing career is basically to know the exact measurements you require for your pleats now what is the exact measurement all you have to do is to multiply your hip measurement by three if you want your pleat to be full now note that this also depends on one what you want if you want a full pleat multiply your hip measurement by three or 
if you have enough fabric you are working with you also multiply your hip measurement by three but per adventure you don't have enough fabric you are working with or you don't want your pleats to be too full multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 so basically either you multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 or by 3 now why are you using your hip measurements instead of your waist this is because for most women our hip is usually the largest part of our body okay for most women the hip actually for the lower part of your body the hip is usually like the largest part so for an example if my hip measurement is 40 40 multiplied by 3 I'm going to have 120 inches for the width so it means that the fabric I'm going to pleat on I'm going to have 120 inches by 15 for the first layer 120 inches for the width 15 inches for the length for the first layer the second layer i'm going to have 120 inches by 30 inches for the length for the second layer so the width remains the same for both layers but the length is just the difference so if your skirt wants to have three layers split four layers split five layer split the width basically remains the same the only difference there is the length and that depends on how long you want it to be if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available both online training and physical training and don't forget to join us on facebook cg designs and also on instagram c G designs we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so what is the measurement from so guys now we want to cut out the pencil skirt right so we are cutting out the pencil skirt first and then we we'll also cut out our three layer pleats and how to achieve your infinite dress so our waist to upper hip six inches now do you know the reason why we mark upper hip the reason why we mark upper hip is because this is where your dart should end right so waist to hip eight inches waist to knee length 17 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how did i come across all these measurements i'm going to go ahead and put the video of size chart at this part so please click on this video and you know watch it i explained distance calculation in that video so i'll go ahead and connect the lines together guys the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to mark my dad my dad is four inches on the upper hip we have four inches go ahead and connect the lines together on your waistline mark half inch on both sides on your waistline mark half inch on both sides and you connect the lines together so this is what you know this is our dart now you go ahead and mark your waist measurement so our waist measurement is 9.5 i'll go ahead and mark waist measurements 9.5 our hip measurement is 11 inches now because it's pencil skirt you are going to determine how many inches you want to take off from your hip measurements and note that it depends on you you can take off basically from one inch to two inches or how pencil you want it to be so i have 11 inches here i'm going to take off one inch i'll mark 10 inches on my skirt length so once i'm done i'll go ahead and connect so i've gone ahead now to connect the lines together and this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so after cutting this out i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys after cutting it out this is what we have for the front block so the next thing we are going to do now is to set this aside and mark our back block so for our back block now i'm going to mark one and a half inches for zip allowance one and a half inches for the zip allowance once i'm done i'll connect the lines together so this will serve as our zip allowance for the back block so we've gone ahead down to connect it now we we'll go ahead and mark our dust measurements we are starting from this zip line go ahead and mark four inches on your waist and also on your upper 
it this way now on your waistline you also go ahead and mark half inch on both sides and then you connect it to your upper inch so this is what you should have now you go ahead and mark your waist measurements 9.5 hip measurements 11 inches on our skirt length in the front block we mark 10 inches so you're also going to maintain that 10 inches and note that all your measurements will start after your zip allowance so you go ahead now and connect your hip to your skirt length and connect your hip to your waistline this way so this is what you should have for your back block we'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys after cutting this out this is what you should have for your back block and this is what you have for your front block so we'll go ahead and set this aside so guys now we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two once you are done place your pattern paper this is your pencil skirt the pencil part of this dress so you go ahead and place it on this part this is the front block and then you cut this out so guys for the back block also we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two we place our pattern on it and by the time you open this up you are basically going to have two pieces for the back block lower part where we are going to have our pleats we are basically going to multiply your hip measurement by three or your hip measurement is multiplied by 2.5 okay it depends on how full you want it to be so let's say for an example your hip measurement is 40 inches and then you are multiplying your hip measurement by 3 you have 120 inches so it means that for the width the amount of fabric you need for the width is going to be 120 inches that is if you are multiplying your hip measurements by 3 now that if you're multiplying your hip measurement by three and why you know what should you consider in order for you to know whether you want to multiply your hip measurement by three or by 2.5 one it depends on how full you want your pleat to be and two it depends on the amount of fabric you are basically working with so if your hip measurement is 40 multiply 40 by three you have 120 inches for the width now for the length of fabric required all you have to do is to deduct the upper part of your dress from your gown length so if your shoulder to knee is 30 inches and then your gown length is 60 inches all you have to do is all you have to do is subtract your gown length from your pencil area so if your gown length is 60 and from your shoulder to knee is 30 inches it means you're going to have 30 inches for the lower part and then you add two inches for your sewing allowance so for me now my gown length is 65 minus 35 inches which is my shoulder to knee i have 30 inches so for the length now i'm going to have 30 inches plus two inches for my sewing allowance i have 32 inches by 120 so i'll go ahead now now and set this aside so guys now for the back block you can see what it looks like I've gone ahead to turn them with my lining and I've also done that for this um, other piece so what you are going to do now is you're basically going to go ahead and fix in your zipper and then you couple this up so that you can have like a single piece for the back block Why for the front block this is what it looks like i've also gone ahead also to turn it up with the lining and this is basically what we have the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and cut out your band and your band is basically going to be your waist measurement because you are going to attach your band to your waist now for the wideness of your band it depends on you how wide you want it to be so for me i have about three inches i've also gone ahead to iron my band paper stay and just to give it like a form of structure so that it can stick well this way so basically what you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and attach this band to your skirt this way you can see what it looks like you go ahead and attach your skirt to the band and this is what we have because what we want to have is our infinite wrap right so i'm going to have our infinite wrap so this is what i have now i have let me set this aside so for our infinite wrap this is what it looks like so for the wideness of the wrap 
wideness of the wrap i have 12 inches and for the length you guys for the length of your wrap make sure you have enough so that it can tie you know it can tie across like all your body parts and once you have like a very long strap so i'm gonna go ahead and iron this so that i can take off this sticker away now the long the longer your strap is the more you have enough fabric to style it into different you know styles and basically that is the beauty of this style so for me now for my length folded into two for my length now i have 80 inches for the length so folded into two this way i have 40 inches but like the full length right the full length is 80 inches long so i have 80 inches on this part 80 by 12 inches and also for the second stripe also we also have 80 by 12 inches so this is what we are going to use now to wrap across our body parts you can make yours longer it depends on how big you have so guys now what we want to do now is we want to attach these stripes the two pieces of this stripe to this um band and you're basically going to attach your stripe to the front block alone you're going to attach this stripe to the front block alone now this is what we are going to do you can see what it looks like now you kindly place this um strap on the band and you can just go ahead and give it like a pleat okay just like a little pleat so that it can get to the middle part of it so you attach this strap to this part and you also attach your straps this way you can see you attach your stripes to this part and you also attach it this way so this is basically what you are going to have for the upper part of the front block and don't forget that for the back block you are not attaching these stripes you've gone ahead now to you know place your back block on it and of course you are going to have your band on the back block so your band is also going to come across your back block you can see the band now on the back block so this is what it looks like for the upper part now the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and attach our pleats to the lower part of this dress so for you to attach your pleats now don't forget that for the width of this fabric we said that multiply your hip measurement by three if you want it to be full or you multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 it depends on how so now we want to attach this lower part which is our pleats to the main fabric right and don't forget that i said there are two ways in which you can get the width of your pleats one is to multiply your hip measurements by three or you multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 and the reason why you have you know to consider whether you want to multiply by 2.5 or by 3 depends on the amount of fabric you are working with and also how full you want your pleat to be and what you are basically going to do now is very simple so we we'll just go ahead now and gather this up that is what you want to do so just gather this up and i'm going to make use of my gather's foot i have a tutorial on gather's foot i'm going to put the link somewhere here so you can go ahead and check it out on how to use your gather's foot to pleat your dress and one advantage of using a gather's foot is that it makes your pleats to be equal and you don't have to worry about one pleat being big bigger than the other pleats right so i'll go ahead now and pleat this please check out that video so I'll go ahead now and just gather this off at the lower side and once I'm done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, now we've gone ahead to couple this up. So basically, you can see like where you have your pencil skirt effect and then this is how we went ahead to attach our strap so that you can tie this, you know, across your body. And the next thing I went ahead to do now was to go ahead and gather our pleats to the lower side of this dress so i just went ahead to add like two layers of pleats so basically if you want to attach like two layers or three layers the width is going to be the same thing which is your hip measurements multiplied by three or your hip measurements multiplied by 2.5 so the width of both the first layer and the second layer is going to be the same the only difference is basically just the length okay how long you want it to be so this is basically what i have and i hope you guys enjoyed this this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so for the back block also you can see that we don't have the stripes at the back block we only have the stripes attached to the front block and then we have our zipper 
and we also have our pleats at this lower side so thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye